Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this consultation series. We're gonna give you all kinds of tips and tricks for effectively and properly lighting up your home. This is a free consultation that we do for all our clients. So if you wanna get your free consultation, just shoot me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca. Send me a few pictures and we'll give you a video presentation of what lights are gonna work best with your property or go and visit us at lightingdoctor.ca or go check out all our videos on YouTube. Hey Jermaine, uh, thanks for sending the pictures here. I'll give you some uh, some thoughts of uh, if I was to do this project uh, the way that I would do it. So um, the first thing I would do is I'd definitely start with this whole front entrance way. I think this is kind of the, the star of the whole house. Um, and even though you have the porch lights here, um, the landscape lights are something that's going to be on, uh, you know, more often than the porch lights. These are probably great for security and, and at night, but it's probably not something that you um, keep on all night, uh, as well as the uh, the um, accent lights that I'm going to recommend here are going to do a really good job of highlighting this whole um, entranceway, not just the, uh, the bottom half here. But what I would use is I would get a couple of these accent lights or spotlights, uh, like this, and I would have them at the base of both of these kind of columns by the entranceway, probably about, you know, 12 to 18 inches back and almost shooting straight up because you want to really cascade that light across the, uh, the texture in the brick and then all the way to the top of the house here. And that's going to do a really good job of featuring this entire entranceway, which I think is is really going to be the star of the whole project. Um, and what I would even consider doing is maybe even upgrading uh, from a standard. Uh, they're all LED bulbs, but from a standard 20 watt equivalent to maybe a 35 watt equivalent. So just a little bit brighter of a bulb uh, just so that you can really get that light all the way to the top. So I would definitely start with two there. And then uh, just to create some balance in the house, I think you're going to want to do uh, with the same light uh, i don't think you need to necessarily go uh, with the uh, higher lumen output or the brighter light you can stick with a standard 20 watt equivalent and i would probably have one of those accent lights again at the base of the house here uh, not too far back from the house and have that just shining up so it kind of features uh, this whole area uh, you don't need it as bright even though this is as tall you kind of want this to stand out more than this so it'll create that nice balance and it'll balance with this side so if you have that 20 watt equivalent here that highlights this section you can do the same over here um, probably place that somewhere uh, right around here again close to the house shining straight up and then that's going to have a little bit subtler of a light on both sides of the entranceway the entranceway is going to be lit up to the top it's really going to uh, feature this architectural uh, stonework here and then what you could do is you may want to consider adding a path light or two. Um, I'm not a huge fan of adding path lights, but if you can keep them in a low maintenance area like this, I think they'll work well. And I would maybe consider getting a path light kind of somewhere back in here by the stair because it's going to light up this section. I would probably try and stagger one and get one over on this side of the house here. And that's going to really highlight this whole section. And then maybe on the second tier, you probably want to get another one that's going to help highlight uh, the whole stair area here. And then the last thing you may want to also consider is uh, is just getting an accent light. I'm sure this is going to get a little bit bigger as it grows, um, but I would probably try and get an accent light right in here. So again, the same light you're using here, but just a standard um, 20 watt equivalent bulb and have that kind of featuring this little tree here. But what that's also going to do is gonna create a little bit of shadowing against the, uh, the garage here. So I think that would be a pretty cool effect um, the only thing you may have to consider uh, with some of these lights is getting under the sidewalk here. Uh, the nice thing is typically with stairs, you um, it's easy enough to get through there. Uh, typically what we recommend is, I mean, usually you can just cut a, uh, a small chunk of sod back from the stairs, dig down a little bit. Um, if you go on Amazon, you can find something called a, uh, a bulb planter drill. I think if you Google or search yard butler bulb planter, um, it's basically it's just a long drill bit that's like 36 inches long. It just fits into a you know standard um, battery operated power drill, and then you can uh, you dig that section out, and then you just drill underneath the sidewalk. Uh, it's super easy. You slide your wire through, and then you can get um, you can get the wire to your lights over there. So uh, hopefully that gives you some some good ideas. If you want me to customize a kit based on those suggestions, let me know. Um, or feel free just to go to our website at lightingdoctor.ca, um, go into the 
uh, individual light section you can just start adding these things to your cart and pricing some stuff out and then uh, just to give you an idea if you're looking for the complete wiring kit to go with that um, you know you're not looking at a lot of lights you're one two three four five you maybe eight lights you could easily get away with um, a wiring kit but on the second page we have like a mini wiring kit um, and this one is specifically designed for you know anywhere from 10 to 12 lights so you can just add this to your cart and then uh, select those lights and that'll give you all that you need um, but if you need to um, customize something a little more let me know and I'd be happy to do that thanks Jeremy Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. And be sure if you want your own free consultation video just like that one, send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.